Good morning guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I really hope you're all doing well and hope you all had a good week because this will go live on Sunday maybe. So I have just got up, done my makeup, had a shower, ready to tackle Monday. Just making my smoothie of the day and so far we've got banana, kale and spinach and I'm just going to add some, I'm going to peel the skin off this lemon and add a chunk of ginger then some coconut water, so very, very healthy today. There we go, so I'm gonna put a whole half lemon in my smoothie, and then the ginger. I'm gonna take off some of the skin of the ginger, but I'm gonna leave a lot of it on because it is good for you. It's obviously got good fibers in it, um, but yeah, I'll take the thick bits off. And there we go, it tastes very, um, Lemony and gingery, but I do love that taste. It always feels nice when you know that you've had some goodness in you first thing in the morning. Also, look at my nails. Oh my god, that is a lot of growth. Um, I might try and get them done today actually because that's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so first job of the day is to go through uh, this document here that my manager has just sent me, quickly reply to any DMs that I got last night on my phone, and yeah, let's get back to any urgent messages or emails, so I'm going to be doing that for now. So today is new retainer day, which is really exciting. I'm on my fifth out of 11 retainers, and it's just going so quickly. I always really look forward to new retainer day, I don't know why, I just think that they're so nice and fresh and clean, and it means that we're making progress. Okay, so retainer is in, it looks like this, and then you have to like chew on this, it's called a chewy. Um, it tastes like blackcurrant, and you like chew it to like mold the retainer to your teeth. And you just go like this, and it's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm just setting up, ready for a meeting. Um, I'm talking on a panel, guys, which is kind of crazy, like little old me talking on a panel. So I'm just having a meeting now with my manager and an agency just to run through everything that I'm gonna be talking about. So yeah, that's really exciting. Never done a panel or anything remotely like this before. Yeah, I agreed to it because I thought it'd be a great challenge, something a little bit different, and I'm excited. So I'm going to try vlog, and if I can put any bits in, then I will. It's always really awkward about online meetings because like, you don't want to be bang on the dot, but you don't want to be late. So you kind of have to wait like 30 seconds after it hits the time. Hi! Yeah, it was pretty chilled really. Um, yesterday I did some puppy yoga, which is like the best thing ever. I know, it was so much fun. So I'm in a good mood this Monday. I feel like it set me up right for the week. So has anything shifted for you over the, since the pandemic? Um, yeah, well, I think over the pandemic, work was very quiet for obviously everyone. Um, so I really shifted the focus on my audience and the way I engage with them and just really making sure that we're, we're kind of in this like community and I was really hoping that everyone would feel like they're coming together and um, I know that my DMs just went absolutely through the roof just because everyone was obviously at home on their phones and yeah. um, and so yeah, I was talking a lot to them like one on one as well, which was really nice. You, you'd be slightly more selective over who you'd work with, and you'd want to work with fewer, but perhaps on a longer term basis. Yeah, definitely. We said this actually at the beginning of the year that that was one of our goals, um, even for yeah. everything that happened. And I think with uh, COVID and everything, it just kind of solidified that fact that we do mm. want to work with fewer brands on a long term basis. Uh, yeah, it's kind of gone from um, mostly traditional marketing, I guess, to like billboards yeah. and stuff to um, influencer. Yeah. But it's quite interesting to see how those two are coming together as well. So influencers working with the traditional marketing, so working campaigns that can then be put onto billboards. But so kind of merging together. I think that's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So actually, you're becoming you're becoming more omnichannel as as marketing talent is that something you're seeing now or something you want to do um definitely something i'd like to do in the future yeah i feel like yeah. we often get asked for licensing for their socials and um online advertising yeah, yeah. Are you seeing that stick and, and being asked to do more adventurous work as a result of it um i feel like when a brand approaches me they they know my content already and my content is yeah. never particularly adventurous because i've always just been um i like to stay relatable and keep my content quite low key yeah. like for example i never use a professional camera when i'm shooting because i actually notice that when i do use a professional camera um the engagement isn't as good and maybe that's because yeah, people nice. can't um again they can't relate to it. if it's an iphone photo 
they know that they can go out and do that themselves and it's easily recreatable. Okay, so I just had the Zoom meeting. It was so much fun. Um, basically, to give you guys a bit more information about the panel, it's with a brand called Walpole and they're basically the um, official trading body for luxury brands. They're doing an event called the Festival of Luxury and it's going to be talking all things about luxury brands, like branding, identity, all of that sort of thing, which makes me very excited because obviously I did do that at university. And yeah, I'm going to be speaking on a panel with the director of Walpole, the director of an agency, um, somebody from Instagram and Facebook and then it told me. <laughs> um, so that was really exciting. We're just basically talking about how marketing is changing and evolving, especially with everything that's gone on this year. And yeah, that is tomorrow. So we're just going through the questions today and just making sure everything was okay. Anyway, now the plan is, I'm just actually gonna make my Instagram post for tonight. Um, I'm gonna do it on Canva because it's a little bit of a different post tonight and I'm excited um, and a bit nervous to put it out there. So I'm just gonna create that now. Okay, so I've just been working on my laptop all morning and I've made myself some scrambled eggs for lunch. I'm currently watching Fashion In Flux on YouTube. She's just got a new house and I love anything to do with home renovations. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then back to this afternoon's work. So I just posted my Instagram versus reality. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see on camera, but it's on my Instagram. And I was a bit nervous before posting because one, it's not my normal type of content. Two, the reality photos are obviously very unposed and completely unedited and three i didn't want it to get the wrong impression because my reality photos they're bad but they're not like terrible like both photos are me and i like both photos but i was just trying to prove a point that i obviously only post my best photos and there are always going to be photos of me not looking my best and yeah i was just slightly worried that people might get the wrong end of the stick but the reaction so far has been absolutely amazing and all your comments and messages are literally making me die so very happy with how that turned out and i need to do it more often i actually deleted literally all my photos the other day on my phone because i had 52,000 photos so there weren't actually that many to choose from i only had about eight that i had like the outtakes of but yeah from now on i'm going to save the outtakes and try and do it on a more regular basis because yeah instagram is my job and obviously i know exactly how to pose what angles the light I know how to edit my photos. Obviously, I don't edit my body. I would never edit my body. I do edit things out of my photos, like people or like, but I'll do things like smooth out my skin, change the colours of the photos, just make it look a little bit more like picture perfect. And obviously, perfection is not reality. Anyway, it's now seven o'clock. B is still not home, so she's obviously having a late one at work today. Um, and I've just checked the fridge and there isn't a lot to eat. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of a made up kind of dinner tonight, I think. So we don't have any veg really, but we do have cucumber and lettuce. I'm thinking some sort of salad -y thing with maybe some sweet potato fries. Grown by Martin Hammond. Oh. So I've just popped some sweet potato fries in the oven. Now I'm going to make the salad. In the salad we have lettuce, cucumber, apple with some mixed nuts, blue cheese and um, a balsamic glaze. Oh and I'll just add a squeeze of lime as well. <gasps> oh my god guys! Look! How has that just happened? That is a total of four eggs. Oh my god it literally just fell out on my face. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so gooey. So, I'm just eating dinner. Bees home from work. Yay! Are you washing your hair, Bob? Great. Don't worry, I'll help you. What the hell is it? I mean, probably from. I'm not sure. I think it's from that rug. Why? Does he work from the bottom? He does all the small things at the bottom. Yeah, that's what my, my mom does. I mean, it is a logical way to do it. Yeah. I mean, I do it when I'm not doing it with you, to be fair. Oh, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I feel like sometimes I'm around you, like all my adult instincts go out the roof. Same, I feel like I think you have to <laughs> Go out the roof? That's what you were saying. What is it? Go out the door? Oh, yeah. Out the window! <laughs> But I feel like I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you have a different way of doing things, so I just pretend <laughs> that I go along with you, and I think you do the same. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then we just end up making a jumble. Making a jumble. We done. So I've just got into my pyjamas, these ones are from Lounge Underwear and I'm watching Sam and Billy Fair's The Mummy Diaries, um, it's my guilty pleasure, I absolutely love it. And I've just got myself a cup of tea and a goo cheesecake, Bee's in her room watching Piers Morgan's Confessions of a Serial Killer and that just shows the difference between us to be honest. Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday, um, it's actually not morning, it's kind of afternoon now. I've had quite a busy morning just doing random bits of admin and stuff. Anyway, I'm just getting prepared now to speak on that panel I was talking about. I'm speaking all about the stuff um, that I showed you guys yesterday. Just looking in the viewfinder now, how dark is my hair at the moment? Somebody commented on my last video as well, have you dyed your hair, it looks really dark, and it does, doesn't it? Um, I'm actually going to get it dyed tomorrow, which is so exciting. Um, so I'll take you guys with me to the appointment. But yeah, I'm just a bit bored of it being so dark. I want it to go a little bit lighter. So just gonna make myself a quick lunch. Um, I've just popped some olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna add this cauldron marinated tofu. So I've just added a little bit of sour cream, some avocado and some lettuce. Then I'll add the tofu and the rice. There's just some paprika added to this for some flavouring. Some cheese, of course. And then there we go, that's my little wrap. Okay, so I'm about to go live onto the panel. I'm really nervous. Wish me luck, guys. I am Helen to guide you through this. Let me introduce you to them one by one. We're also joined by Kate Hutchins, who is a London-based uh, fashion, beauty and lifestyle influencer has over 370,000 now followers across Instagram and YouTube, and she's absolutely the custodian of so many um, respected and global luxury brands, um, creating content across across YouTube and across Instagram, but also um, is really starting to work with brands for creating content for their channels, uh, you know, a big trend that we're starting to see. Please follow her on Instagram. Um, and also... Down, so can you be my cure? Say, can I, can I, can I, can I? Okay, I've just finished the panel and that was really fun and it was really nerve-wracking because I was by far the youngest one there and yeah, the things they were talking about, some of the bits were quite complex and I just wanted to be able to answer to the best I possibly could um, but I just really hope that I came across well and, and I answered the questions okay and stuff. Like, you know when people ask you, like, four different questions and they merge into one question? That kept on happening and I feel like I just kept on, like, not answering the question. Um, but hopefully it's okay. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed it. So, and it was a bit of a challenge for me and I always like to challenge myself. Anyway, the time now, it must be, like, two o'clock. So, yeah, I've just got a bit of editing and a bit of work to do. Nothing too interesting. Um, and I'll chat to you guys later. So I just made myself a late lunch. I uh, just got a little stir fry and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. So I received these from Iconic London in the post earlier and I wanted to trial them out today to see if they were any good before showing you guys. They are honestly amazing. I'm so, so impressed. So they're their lip oils and it says they have vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which basically, which is obviously going to really hydrate and plump your lips. They're all quite like sheer. So even the darkest one here actually isn't like as scary as it looks. It just comes off as a really nice gloss. And I put it on about one o'clock and it's still perfectly on my lips now. So I'm very impressed and I would highly recommend them. This was my outfit today. I'm about to get changed into some trackies, I think. This jumper is from Mango. It's really nice. It's um quite a good kind of worky blouse, which is why I put it on for the panel. So I looked professional. Um, and then these are my Topshop mom jeans that I always wear. Oh my god, I just had a really exciting delivery from um, Drunk Elephant, so I'm going to open it with you guys. Oh <gasps> my god. <laughs> oh, oh, drunk, drunk. <laughs> 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 that 
That is so cute. How do they know your foot? I think they asked me ages ago, but that's so funny. That looks really small, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a nice lip balm. What is this? Oh, cool. A moisturizer. And my absolute all time faves, the sunshine drops. So I'm just about to pop to Waitrose, just got the recycling to take downstairs and then I'm get some ingredients for dinner. Okay, so I just got back from Waitrose. Okay. I've got a large glass of rosé, not sure what the occasion is. Um, and Bea's just got gin and tonic. Oh yeah, Bea's home. Oh yeah. But yeah, she's just making some pasta for dinner. Um, and I am just finishing up work for the day. Um, just making some selects at the moment. And I'm gonna finish editing, then we'll have dinner. Oh my god, my favourite thing ever. These smarty buttons are honestly the best things ever. They also have them in white, which are equally as amazing. Good morning, guys. It is now Wednesday. Um, just making a hot chocolate on the pan. I'm just going to pour it out. Poor B is woken up with a crooked neck, so... I'm looking after her. <laughs> Shall we put it? Give it to you. Or... Oh, yeah. okay. Thanks. The hot chocolate that we use is this Cow Cow Bliss Superfood Elixir Blend. And it's really cool because it has, um, it's blended with turmeric and four superfoods, supports mental focus, boosts your energy, and reduces cravings. So, um, yeah, and it's really tasty as well. This is the current look I'm working with today. Um, got a big baggy t shirt on zero fake tan on my legs oh my god and some really cute thumper socks i absolutely love thumper and they're funny so these are probably one of my faves green beans oh yay our odd box has just arrived oh Bee's got a crick in her neck she's not just walking weird <laughs> for breakfast i've got avocado on toast with feta and paprika and then i'm just going to add my pericone md super berry to my water it's just like a supplement and it's really tasty hi guys so i just put on a little bit of makeup and got dressed um i'm now going to head to the post office gonna get my nails done and then i'm gonna get my hair done so i'm going to be a transformed a woman by the end of today um very excited but also very nervous because a few years ago i got my hair done by um, a hairdresser that i've been going to for a while and she completely ruined my hair like i asked i'll put a picture on the screen of what i asked for and then this hair is what i got she literally dyed the whole thing with bleach it was just like a really yellowy orange kind of color i looked like one of those trolls and it took like a good two three years to get back to normal um so ever since that disaster i've been very nervous getting my hair done i haven't had it dyed in about maybe two and a half years but everything here is just outgrown highlights basically um which is why it looks like a bit balayage um but yeah i'm really excited and i'm going to show you guys what it all looks like afterwards so it can be a bit of a surprise say can i can i can i can i can i can i get your Okay, so I've got my nails done. They look really, really pretty. She did such a good job. And now I'm just in H&M, looking at the autumn winter stuff. Um, because I'm a little bit early for my appointment. So far, I've picked up this jacket here, which is really cute. It's kind of like a like felty material, weirdly enough, and it's cottony on the inside. Amazing, thank you. Okay, so I'm now just walking to Polo, which is where I get my hair done. I've um, been going there for a while, but so yeah, I'm just walking there now. It's actually so nice to be able to walk places in our old flat. We wouldn't be able to walk anywhere because we were kind of in the middle of nowhere, but now I can walk to get my nails done. I can walk to go get my hair done. It's lovely. Okay, so I'm currently looking a little bit crazy with all this cling from my hair. Um, but midway through the colour, all the colour is here, and I can't wait to see the final result. Very excited. Look at this cutie at the salon, guys. Little Murphy. Aww. So the colour is in, and I'm just waiting for it to develop, and then I'm gonna wash it out.
good evening guys i'm home my hair is all done i absolutely love it it's probably not the best light to show you guys in because it is just a bedside lamp but yeah i was so worried beforehand but she really really did do a good job i don't know if you can really tell but it is kind of just a shade lighter and then she's put a little bit of blonde through the front and just taken off all of the um brassiness at the bottom and i'm so happy with it so i will put all of their details down below because they are amazing and very affordable as well for london prices she also did a really good job of curling it but my hair has completely just fallen out it always loses its curl fairly easily anyway i've just had dinner and now i'm gonna get into my pajamas and probably just chill for the rest of the evening got a little bit of work to do so yeah i will see you guys oh ah so let me show you my nails hang on let's focus can you see how perfect she's done my nails i don't actually think i've ever had them done this perfectly it looks like the emoji very very happy with them um and i go to london grace yeah i go to london grace for my nails they have salons all over london and they're just really lovely i love the interior i love the staff so yeah i either go there or i go to sapphire and clapham but london grace is a little bit more local so that's more of a quick kind of thing um and then when i go to sapphire i get the whole work done good morning guys it is now thursday um oh my god how is it thursday that is crazy um so i'm just in my car ready to drive to Kensington to shoot. Got myself some arancini balls. Oh, I obviously had breakfast this morning. It's actually 9 a.m. by the way, guys. I don't know why I'm eating arancini at 9 a.m. But I'm really hungry we didn't have a lot of snacks. So this was my only option. Anyway, I need to go. I'm leaving like an hour early because the traffic in London at the moment is just awful. Like I've never seen it so bad. It's just taking so long to get anywhere. Um, I think it's because they've got like a lot of road closures at the moment so everything's just really congested so yeah it's giving myself a little bit of extra time I actually feel like such a weirdo with my two arancini balls in the car these ones are from Waitrose mmm oh my god they taste unbelievable they're tomato and mozzarella thank you it is such a beautiful day today, guys. Um, apparently there's gonna be a bit of a heat wave over the weekend, which is kind of really annoying because I was really getting into cozy vibes. I just really wanna be shooting in about five million layers. So, the outfits I've gone for today are kind of like not wintry. They're more like transitional pieces, I guess. So I've been driving around because the place where I wanted to shoot is on this beautiful road. Um, and it was full of roadworks and like builders and stuff and there were places we could shoot on the road but honestly guys it's actually not worth it like shooting around and I don't want to generalize tradesmen because I know that a lot of them are very lovely people but when shooting in my experience every single time like we just get harassed and um, shouted at and laughed at so it's just not really worth it normally i wouldn't care but it's, it's just when there's a big group of men it's obviously very intimidating so i'm now driving around trying to find somewhere to shoot okay i found somewhere to shoot driving in london is so stressful i hate it um but look i'll show you got um this little road here it's all nice and quiet and a huge white wall over there which is honestly my dream all i want in life is a white wall so yeah just waiting for freya now and then i'm gonna shoot okay so back from shooting i am so hungry now so i'm gonna make a quick lunch and then i gotta shoot some extra bits so we've been a bit naughty and we've ordered a takeaway curry this evening we've got two paneer um kind of like kormas aren't they paneer kormas they're like a tikka yeah paneer tikkas good evening guys i'm so sorry i've been terrible at vlogging today i feel like it's been a really rushed and busy day i got home from shooting and had to shoot another campaign that was due for approval today it was a bondo boost campaign actually um and i've been working with them for so long now and yeah they're just one of my favorite brands to work with i always get a bit stressed when i photograph ads because i feel like ads are just very difficult to make look organic and natural and my ads as well like on instagram they never really do very well engagement wise which i get it's fair enough but yeah it kind of makes taking the pics stressful because i really want to do a good job um and do the brand justice um and yeah it's always just really awkward because how can you make an ad look natural 
and even though obviously I love the brand you guys will know this even when I'm not working at Bondi Boost I still use their products I spent my own money on their products um so like I know I love the brand but it's just hard to translate that into a paid partnership anyway yeah I finished that edited it uh sent it off then began editing this video there's been a lot of talking in this vlog and I really hope you guys don't mind it um I feel like I don't normally talk this much in vlogs but yeah I haven't had a lot to show you guys so I've just kind of been talking instead <laughs> I hope that's okay anyway I'm gonna end this vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed it I love you all so 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 much and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.